Hi, I'm Nikita Hari. Uh, my research is on bridging the gap between the laboratory phase and the commercialization of these superior material uh, devices called gallium nitride, which can be used and which has the potential to change the way the world handles power. So I use machine learning to model them and to design rules and guidelines for the power design community to work with them. Currently, I am the Vice President of the Graduate Union. It is a student-facing body of the union which looks into uh, the policies and works and acts as a bridge between the university and the student membership in addressing uh, the issues that student faces. Um, so in my role, I have been actively involved in the consultation process of the Graduate Board of Studies uh, regarding the e-thesis requirements for PhD students. And I've been feeding into uh, the board with the feedback from the student membership that is our student council and in general uh, opinion of the students. When I started in 2013, there was no requirements for an e-thesis submission. Now in 2017, the board of graduate studies brought in this requirement that all PhD students should submit an electronic copy of your thesis before you can graduate. Now that I'm planning to submit my thesis, my major considerations are based on three important factors. Firstly, I've been working with companies uh, uh, under non-disclosure agreement, so there are certain aspects of my research that I cannot make open access, so I will have to redact it from my uh, open access um, thesis. Secondly, uh, I have used a lot of images in my thesis and so I had to make sure that I had proper copyright and permission to make them open access. Thirdly, I also uh, wanted to publish and depending upon the journal uh, publication timeline, I wanted to make sure that that falls in alignment with the access options available to me. So taking into consideration all these factors, I have decided to initially request for an embargo. And after I have my journals published, I will go for uh, open access. My funding body do not require any specific access levels, but make sure that uh, you check in with your funding bodies and so that their requirements and the ethesis open access levels of the university are in alignment so that you can make an informed decision. Lastly, I would like to stress that PhD submission process can be extremely daunting and a very stressful period of your research journey. So make sure that you understand the requirements for ethesis well in advance, discuss it with thoroughly with your peers, your supervisor, and make an informed decision. So if you understand and if you're prepared uh, for this uh, deposit process, it is relatively straightforward.